We begin with the internal features of the gut tube. From the esophagus at the level of the diaphragm, which we'll remove, we have the esophagogastric junction or Z line. We dissect into the stomach, mucosa. We see these topographical features inside the stomach called rugae. Sending down the GI tract, this sphincter is called the pyloric sphincter. We continue down the duodenum. We have the feature inside the duodenum where the common bile duct and the main pancreatic duct merge, form the major duodenal papilla. And if we dissect into the pancreas, we can see the main pancreatic duct here. In this view, we can also appreciate the circular folds of the small intestine. Descending down through to the cecum, we dissect into the ascending colon. We can see this structure here called the ileocecal valve. And looking inside of the transverse colon, we can see these ridges on the inside are called semilunar folds of the colon. And the feature on the outside, we're reminded, are called haustra. Four gut vessels begin with the celiac trunk which gives rise to three vessels. The left gastric artery, the splenic artery, and the common hepatic artery. The common hepatic artery gives rise to, among others, the proper hepatic artery, we dissect into the liver, we see the right hepatic artery, the left hepatic artery, and the cystic artery. On the venous side, we see the left gastric vein. the splenic vein, which both drain into the portal vein. The portal vein, the hepatic artery, and the common bile duct make up the portal triad. Finally, the venous drainage of the liver itself by the hepatic veins can be seen here. The midgut and hindgut vessels begin with the superior mesenteric artery, which is just inferior to the celiac trunk. This gives rise to many of the vessels in the mesentery supplying blood to the small intestine and also the right colic artery. The middle colic artery. And the marginal artery. The inferior mesenteric artery gives rise to the left colic artery which also connects to the marginal artery, as well as the superior rectal artery. Looking at the connection to this large intestine, the straight arteries refer to the 
arteries that are immediately next to the tissue in a straight configuration. The software does not depict these very accurately. And then the arcade arteries are the intermediate arteries which go both longitudinally and perpendicular. The superior mesenteric vein drains into the portal vein. The inferior mesenteric vein collects blood from the superior rectal vein and others and drains into the splenic vein, which drains into the portal vein. The abdominal autonomic nerves include the splanchnic nerves, which are divisions off of the sympathetic chain ganglia. This is the greater splanchnic nerves, and there are others as you continue down. You can see the celiac trunk here. This is the celiac ganglion. And the, all the bundle of nerves that come in and around the celiac ganglion is the celiac plexus. Here you can see the superior mesenteric plexus and ganglion. The sympathetic trunk is this long chain parallel to the spinal column.